I believe, Madam Speaker, that this particular act is a direct assault on the vast majority of poor and middle class Belizeans, Madam Speaker, because they are the consumers of butane. And even if it is only for a very temporary, short period of time, that the distributors in the city and in the country are providing this reprieve, this discount, this low price of butane. Why are we attacking the poor people, especially at this time of the year? I've heard governments protecting the consumer from price gouging, that you know, you want to make sure that the, um, the suppliers would not take advantage of the consumers. But I think this is the first time when I hear the government is protecting the suppliers by ensuring that they cannot go below a certain price. This is madness, Madam Speaker. I mean, especially at a time when here yeah, at Christmas time they come, everybody is doing a lot of cooking, a lot of baking, and yet the government would not allow the competition to reduce the price. It really makes absolutely no sense, Madam Speaker. Maybe I'm missing something, but I would think that we would want to pass legislation to protect the majority of people, not a handful of people. We should bring legislation here not to try to defend or protect 25 retailers, but we should support any kind of pricing, any kind of mechanism that will bring down the prices for ordinary people. 70% of all households in this country, they say use butane. So how are we going to be reactionary when the price is coming down? This is a most unusual act. If these importers slash distributors slash retailers can bring down the price of butane to this low, it means they could have been doing it for many, many years. It means that the ordinary people of this country, all of us, have been fleeced, have been shafted. You know, you know the business are being shafted, you know. You understand? And no can't come tell me because they're not um, that's how new people want to shaft you, that the locals want to shaft you, that no foreigners want to shaft you. I don't care who, I don't want nobody to shaft me.